Come one, come all to the biggest event in our history of the world. Thousands and thousands of dollars have been put into this event, so come and get your tickets to see the end of the world as we know it. Anyway, guys, I'll, I'll come back to this topic in a second. What's up, guys? It's Mr. Spade here, your Canadian Call of Duty professor, and I have some gameplay on Nuketown Domination. What a weird game type for this map. It's just so small for a Domination game. Just so itty bitty and just lots of people running around like little mice running around on the floor trying to get some cheese and then getting trapped by the cheese and going Pop! your neck is snapped bitch that's kinda what New is all about it's pretty much all these guys just running around and them getting shot in the ass so pretty much what happened in this gameplay was I started out with the L96 gold plated with infrared and I didn't really like that so much so it wasn't really working out so I'm thinking fuck this I'm gonna pull out my AK-47 gold plated so that's exactly what I did guys I pulled out my AK-47 gold plated and I started to go to town with on it with people on people with it that's what I meant to say so at first I didn't start to do really well with the AK-47, but as soon as I br pretty much as soon as I brought it out, actually I could feel the change in my body mo body language and the way I was playing and the way I was holding the joystick and stuff like that. At first I was camping, sitting in my spawn. Oh, triple spray! At first I was camping, sitting in my spawn, not really doing much. When I pulled out that gold AK-47, though, I gained so much confidence, got right up in their spawn, started dumping shit on top of them, and. It Honestly, it was one of the most entertaining gameplays I've ever played, and I hope you guys enjoy watching it, because I definitely enjoyed playing it, and it was probably one of the most fun, fun time I've ever had on Black Ops. I was, um, I was actually playing by myself, and I was in a party with my friends, and I was just like, oh, oh, suck it, oh, oh, look at this, oh my god, at first I was doing crappy, and then I just started to wreck and own stuff and my friends were just like dude shut up we get it you're good at the game okay we know you're an angel and we worship you and stuff but come on dude no i'm just kidding that last part was all fake but the first part was true so anyways guys i want to go back to the thing that i mentioned at the beginning the end of the world as we know it so i heard this funny thing today while i was at school apparently apparently the world is coming to an end this Saturday, May 21st. Did you guys have any idea about this? Like, <laughs> newsflash, how come I'm only just hearing about this now? Come on. No, seriously, guys. Apparently, this guy from California, this U.S. guy, stupid U.S. people. God, I hate them. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I love you guys, U.S. What are you talking about? I heart you. You're my homies. So, anyways, this guy from California, he predict he predicted that at around seven six p.m. on the on twenty first of May, he reckons that two percent of the world's population will immediately immediately be raptured to heaven. The rest of us will get sent straight to the other place, and I'm assuming by the other place he means hell. Now, I'm not a big religion guy myself, but I honestly don't believe in all this crap about the end of the world. First of all, this guy. And then 2012, and then global warming. Well, I believe in global warming, obviously, because it's not something you are forced or not forced to believe in. It's sort of, it's sort of out there. It's common fact, kind of like how um, gravity is common fact. Wait, wait, please don't tell me you don't believe in gravity, dude. Dude, okay, come on. We are being pulled. We are not being pushed. How many times do we have to go over this? <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, Sorry, that was just from a TV show. But this end of the world crap on Saturday, I do I honestly believe that we are going to die, all of us, on Saturday? No. I believe that on Friday night I'm going to get a shit ton of homework, and on Saturday I'm going to be working my ass off, playing video games, and then do my homework on Sunday. And that'll be the easy part, right? Come on. Video games is definitely easier, I mean harder than homework, obviously. So that's what I believe is going to happen, and I'm going to go to school the next week, and nothing will have changed. Seriously, nothing will have changed at all. I don't believe in this end of the world crap at a specific time. I believe that when our time is there, our time is there. It's not a it's not a predetermined time. I think something will just happen. That's that's what I believe in. So this guy, the only reason he's getting any real attention is because he. Ha he owns something like 66 network stations, which is uh, radio stations and something like that. And he has more than 2,000 billboards across the U.S. adorned with slogans, which include, Blow the trumpet, warm the people, warn the people. That just sounds rude. I'm sorry, that, that sounds rude to me. 
But anyways, his reasoning behind this is that, excuse me, he says the world will end on May 21st because that will be 222,500 days from the 1st of April, AD 33, which he believes was the first was the day of the crucifixion. The figure 722500 is important because you get it by multiplying three holy numbers, 5, 10, and 17 together twice. Tough for crying out loud. Religion. Religion, religion, religion. It's such controversy, but honestly, the end of the world crap, I think you're going a little bit too far, guys. You're getting a little bit too overzealous. It's like that guy last year or something like that who believed that he was the resurrected version of Christ and he actually had a big following and that that didn't go anywhere so I don't think this is going to go anywhere either I think this is just a way for people to freak out kind of like how a couple years ago when they were crashing those atoms together people thought oh well there's going to be a big black hole because when you crash atoms together that's just not the way God intended it to be so it's going to be a big black hole because atoms are not meant to be crashed together and uh, it's going to be the end of the world blah and guess what nothing happened so, there's always all this big hype, and speaking of end of the world, what do you guys think of 2012? Do you guys think that next year, at December 20, 21st, I think it is, or something like that, do you think we're honestly all going to die? Because, same with this thing, I don't think that that's going to happen. Apparently, it's going to be due to some sort of solar flare. I actually saw an ad on TV once advertising the, um, get all your lottery ticket now, and you can be safe from 2012. You can be put in a safe underground area and if you win this lottery you will be lived, you will live 2012. So honestly I thought that was a joke at first, some sort of new TV series that was going on, but it was real. <laughs> kind of shocked me a little bit. I don't believe in 2012. I don't believe at the end of this world, the end of this world on Saturday. I don't believe that. I didn't believe in the atom crashing theory that we were all going to die on when the atoms crash together, and I certainly don't believe this stuff. So, anyways, guys, that was the end of that game. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty entertaining game for me. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you later. I'm out. Peace!